Mr. David Coverdale, I've been waiting you since noon. Uh, oh, for noon? Oh, my God. Well, I was having fun in my living room, as you can see. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Like Jimmy Page bondage This is, yeah, room. Jimmy Page and Richie Blackmore's living room, yes. <laughs> I live vicariously through their adventures. <laughs> How are you, first of all? I'm very well, thank you. Very happy to be back in Italy. Definitely, and yes. nice to have you here. The so, land of love. Well, you think so? Totally. Really? Absolutely. I'm from England. You know, he, this is definitely a... But England is very cool as well. Oh, it's pretty cool, yeah. But this is the land of lovers, I'd say. Maybe we're more romantic. Yeah, you can talk about going to the bathroom when it sounds interesting. <laughs> This is um, the last release, actually, concerning this DVD. Oh, this, this is a must-have. Listening to that, I was realizing how much blues there is in your attitude, uh, isn't it? I like, yeah. It's it's just I'm just very noisy blues, very loud blues. Of course, of course. But, but it doesn't just disguise the fact that I sing mostly of songs from. Uh, from the heart, from yeah. personal experience, from, you know, disappointments or whatever, so. Yeah. And celebrations. Who is your favorite bluesman ever? Well, it's, uh, there's no favorite bluesman ever. There's, you know, huge figures in my life, like Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf, um, Buddy Guy. They led me into uh, Wilson Pickett, Otis Redding. Uh, just huge influences on me. To me, blues is just another word for expression. Mm -hmm. You know, in Portuguese, fado is, certo, is you know, fado yeah, it's, that's blues, yeah. you know? It's uh, lamentations or, or celebration. Certo. It's another word for just self-expression. Yeah. And, and, uh, and African-Americans, for some reason, probably because they had nothing to lose, were more open than any of us, certo. you know, in the West, to, uh, to, to, to be able to sing about life, love, sex, or whatever, with no inhibitions. And that's something that appealed to me, being a... British, <laughs> being suppressed. If you would describe the, explain what metal is, what would you like I to say? I have no idea. Metal uh, is, is, can be very attractive, but it's not loaded with emotions, you know? Mm. I am, I'm living, breathing emotions, so yeah, I have nothing to do. I go along with people calling it metal, you know? It's nothing to do with me. Wow, this the is... The closest, closest thing I have to metal are the strings on the guitars, you know? See, this is the, the most amazing thing I'm discovering today, because it's something bigger, it's something more well, profound. Actually, I was with, with Deep Purple, mm -hmm. uh, well, and yeah, they were regarded as one of the premier okay. heavy metal bands. I don't know okay. where that came from. I think it was just that huge, overwhelming sound, you know? Yeah. But in terms of the emotions that I write about, it's nothing to do with metal. 